Hello guys, it's me, Big Dave. And today we're doing another Raid Shadow Legends video. And specifically, going over the upcoming updates over the next few weeks of the quality of life features. So yeah, we'll get we'll just go over it. I'll go more into depth on these when they drop. I won't go over the all the intricacies of all of them, but I'd rather have a feel for how these look and how they work and so yeah, I'll just go over them. Just roughly go over them what I think they're going to do and yeah, just have a general chat about it. So obviously the first one we're getting is obviously at some point this week, which is the tavern updates. It's going to be adding sliders, just making it basically simpler to do food. It's going to be an instant button, I believe. Um, yeah, it looks decent, but yeah, I'm looking forward to this one. Just purely because it's going to make leveling champs a little bit easier. Not that I do much of that anymore. <laughs> I've got so many champs to build. A master and all that kind of good stuff so yeah decent enough uh makes it a little bit easier to do and obviously just refining the system itself um for the second one they're doing epic champion empowerment um interested to see how this is gonna play out the, the bonuses how much extra you're gonna get um this this might actually help some epics become a bit more relevant for me personally it's definitely gonna help fire night hard because i am struggling there i think i can do seven or eight on or six on auto but trying to get down to where it's a friendly friendly for me which is 10 or 9 is is horrendous yeah it's just i literally i have to, I either have to make it so that one champ does one thing constantly and makes it like a seven minute run which is not viable <laughs> not spending seven minutes in a dungeon not a chance um i like the idea of it though like there's a lot of champs now who are going to get uh, value surges because of this reason. Um, it does also help certain epics that could solo as well. You know, your Dark Hales, I don't know how that's going to work. Who they're going to put in there to replace Dark Hale. Who they're going to, how you're going to empower Dark Hale. Because obviously he's a champs like, I think off the top of my head who would help you. Like champs like Royal Guard. I can't see how that's going to help Royal Guard really. Apart from his A1 and A3. And the speed requirement for Hydra, that's going to help. But I've already got three built. That means if I want to do at least two of them, I'm going to have to get eight copies of one card. Yeah, I'm not. Uh, yeah, I, 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 don't keep, I don't keep epics like that. I've kept a few copies. There's a couple that are Vault Guardians. I might move out now to, to empower some of them. Yeah, there are some that I might just do just, just to see, just for the fun of it. Um... Yeah, I like the idea. Um, I'm not entirely sure because I've never, I've not gone in power champ um, because I've not filled out facts of guardian. So, but I'm thinking, is it 25? I think when you empower a legendary full, I might be wrong there. My thinking is, if it's 25 for a Lego, it's going to have to be 15. I'm guessing for an epic, um, and maybe eight to nine hundred on the attack or whatever. I don't know. Um, it's actually going to help like certain arena based champions like I don't know, Madam Sarah still gets used. I still come across it quite regularly. This is going to make a, a little bit more OP in that respect for the accuracy. But the chances are you've got enough accuracy anyway if, you, if you're running her. Um, it does actually help her to a certain point. Um, what I would suggest for this is, um, is keep copies now over the next few weeks. If there are ones you plan on doing like your... Madam Services, your Neldos for like Fire Knight, Farrakh in the Fat's now going to be a lot easier to use now because you're going to be able to get that extra speed that you might not already have, like me, because mine's rocking around 280, 270, 280, and I need them around 300, so this might actually help that. But again, I'm going to have to get more copies of Farrakh in the Fat now, so yeah. So I would suggest if you are pulling over the next few weeks, definitely keep a few now because this is coming. So you know it's coming, because I've done a video on it. So you know this is coming, so start keeping copies of ones you want to use. Um, I'll go over this more in depth when it drops. Uh, probably go over the ones I'll, I'll probably do a few when it drops, to be honest, I think a couple. Not many, but a few, just to see what it looks like. So, okay. Right. Artifact presets. Um, I have no... Um, I, I, I'm still unsure what this is. What this is artifact presets. Um, be interesting. Could be a lot of things. You know, I would like to see 
like like presets for your champions with their gear. That would be kind of nice if it goes along that line. Um, I question what that's gonna look like. Um, I artifact presets. If it is where you can make a preset, that kind of deal, yeah, I'm all for that. I'm probably reading that totally wrong. Um, would be nice, you know. I like the idea of it. Again, help us out with, with help us out with the silver if it is that case. Um, but we, we're gonna get to that in a second. So yeah, um, I don't know. Well, if you guys got any suggestions, what you think that might actually be, you know, by all means. Um, use it so yeah but yeah i don't know that's a that's an odd one right um okay so accessory filters um I, i'm just guessing an easier way of going through your your like what i'd like to see here because i'm having major issues with it at the moment is when you pull merciless i have to scroll through everything to find it let me you know pick out certain sets just to make it easier that way that's what i'd like to see from that because it's an absolute pain like i'm i've been trying to do like slayer and uh merciless but i have to troll through all of my gear to see what i've got and then most of the time it's not good anyway but it would be nice to be able to pick it out specifically and go right do i have or oh, I want to build this attacker in this. So that, that would be kind of nice. Um, yeah, I'm hoping I'm hoping that's what that is. Just making it easier so I can pick out what gear I need. You know, like Slayer, Merciless, Supersonic. Because it's now, it's taking up a lot of space. And I have, with a lot of it, I still don't know what I'm going to be doing with it. To be honest, I still haven't made up my mind on that one. But yeah, that would be nice. So we'll see when that drops. This one sounds interesting. Artifact removal booster item. Now I've been asking for this. Please don't put this behind a paywall. Please. Plarium, if you're listening to me, please, 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 please don't put this behind a paywall. Okay? Please. Um, I'd like to see this in St. Tranos to replace some of the, well, I don't know, the brews, um, the Ascension stuff. I don't need those. Not really. Like, I need Arcane. <laughs> I don't need Void and I definitely don't need Spirit because <laughs> I, don't, I don't. So yeah, maybe re maybe pop one or two in there. Maybe pop it in Doom Tower. Please don't make it pay, pay to win. Please don't. Because I, I need these because I'm spending so much silver and so are few of my clannies where I'm down to basically back down to four or five um, million now and that's all I've got. So for an artifact, this is why I'm not doing fusions. This is why I'm not doing fusions because of this reason. Because I've gone no silver. I have to then run spider, which takes me two or three, about a thousand energy to build up a decent amount of it, then then to use it to finish it. It's just not. It's not viable. I like this idea that it's going to be hundred percent, fifty percent, whatever. Like they give you fifty percent when you return back to the game. I've got one of them on my old, on my one of my alts, but it's no use to my alt because my alt's got loads of silver because it doesn't do any gear. So, but yeah, I, I like the idea of this. Um, I'm hoping they give us a couple of these so that what you know, I can go on the optimizer. I can go on my, I have one of my clients out with his account this week just to do this because I have to literally wait. I have to wait for free removal to do anything because I you can't afford 20 million silver to disappear because that's what it costs. So I do like this idea and I hope that they don't put a paywall behind it. So you know, fingers crossed, fingers crossed this is decent and they give these at least a few for free or at least put them somewhere we can get them, but not stupid, not like, I don't know, like 10,000 energy or whatever, we just make these doable for us, so yeah, so a good feature depending on how it looks. And the last one, Hydra class participation rewards. Now, I, I am not a fan of the first, second, third I'm genuinely not. I'm not a fan of it. Hydro class should be if you if you hit a certain mark, no matter where you finish, you should get something. Making it first, second, third, like my client's been lucky that it's finished. It finished first last week. It finished second the week before. And week before. I'm lucky that I got boys in my town who can do it. 
Like I just about scraped 650 minutes just, and I've got, I got a four year old account and I'm still struggling with it. Um, I think it should be for everybody, everyone that does it. You know, you should be given the, the bonuses of the, the gear because it's so unfair when you don't. Because it's literally saying to people, if you, don't, you, if you can't do Hydra, you then can't get stone skin pieces or protection pieces. Because we all need them. I need them. Everyone needs them. Because it's how people compete in arena. It's the only way you can. So I like this idea. I hope that it's not sort of... I, hope, I can't see where, how this can be bad. Because it's a, for just doing it, you should get something. You know, and please, and please take fives out. Come on. Nobody in Hydra is rocking five star gear anymore. Take five out. I know I know it's not gonna happen. I know that's not how Clarion works. But it might be nice to see, you know, and take rares out, man. I don't think you can get rares anyway, I don't think, when you do Hydra class, depending on where you finish. I I've never got lower rewards, so I don't know. Like I need these. These are like literally a war how my account is gonna progress going forward. But yeah, I like the idea i can't see how they can mess this but make it so everyone gets something everybody whether you finish first or last and if you want to reward the guys finishing the top three by all means but make sure the guys on the bottom get something because it's heartbreaking when you don't and you sit there and go why am i even bothering and then people stop playing it you know people are leaving the game because of this reason because how class is so one-sided to higher clans you know it just is and i'm lucky i'm in a sort of mid clan that can just about do high numbers so yeah hopefully they uh they address that issue with this with this patch um overall looking over it i i, I kind of like some of the features i like the epic empowerment thing because it's gonna it's gonna help my account because i get i got a fair amount of secrets i get a fair amount of them so epics are not going to be an issue for me and if you're doing clan boss uh, Ultra Nightmare, you're going to be getting the only trouble I would say this is going to pose is for your Void Epics, because they're harder to get um, if you've managed to keep four copies of the the, the good ones, you know your Nia's um, like Nia's going to get, like my Nia's going to be pretty good now, I, I've only got one of that or so but again, I only want one, and if I get another one, it's straight into it, so I like that idea the Artifact presets who knows what that is if it means you can like make presets for your artifacts, my guessing artifact presets is going to be within within the fort within the um, what is it? I'm looking at to pick which gear you want to look at. Like if you want to look at fury, if you want to look at savage, lethal. Then comparing when you do a like a attack champ, you can just pick savage and lethal. That's probably what it's going to be, I would think. It'd be nice to see some sort of preset where you can put gear gear sets. But that would that's yeah that's no that's not gonna happen. That would cost too much silver. So yeah. <laughs> anyway, um, let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Um, I got a video coming next week. Uh, I got a Hydra video that I'm putting out towards probably tomorrow. For my I'm going over how I do my nightmare runs just to give you guys an idea and girls how I do it. Um, yeah, so I've got videos incoming. I know I've been a bit, a lot going on over the last couple of weeks with uh, with my son and with all sorts of different stuff, to be honest. And uh, yeah, so, but I'm going to be getting more, I'm going to get a video tomorrow and then probably get another video back out on Monday. Maybe Saturday, probably won't be Saturday, but definitely Monday. Try and get as many videos out as I can. If there's anything you want me to go and do over or help you guys with, just please leave it in the comment section because it really does help me out. You know, it uh, doesn't just make it a lot simpler for me, okay? For give me ideas of what you guys would like me to do. So I'm all for, I'm happy to do pretty much anything, as long as, as long as I can, obviously. So yeah, so um, I hope this video finds you all well. And uh, yeah, this is me, Big Dave, out. <laughs>